That would be B, washing machine. Final right. answer. Yes, you got it for $200. Oh, Rich Gomez, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Joy Nash, Kirkland, Washington. Jennifer Whitten, Stephenville, Texas. Saul Shumsky, Oakland, California. Don Hostetta, Wilmore, Kentucky. Lorraine Werner, Torrington, Wyoming. Sandy Matza, Plantation, Florida. Tom Hoopla, New York City. John Lee, Kittersville, Pennsylvania. Hey, everybody. Congratulations on getting this far. Now, brace yourselves, because here comes tonight's first fastest finger... With these world leaders in order by the year of their birth, starting with the earliest. Chiang Kai-shek, John Major, Indira Gandhi, Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. And it was uh, Napoleon Bonaparte. And then Chiang Kai-shek. Dira Gandhi and John Major. That's the right order. Let's get a winner here. The winner is Tom Hoopla. Good job. Put it here. Good for you. Yes, Tom. Tom is going to go for one million dollars when we come back. How did you? Tom Hoopla from New York City in the hot seat right now. He's been married for 29 years, and his companion is uh, his daughter, Ellen. Nice to see you, Ellen. Hi. Thanks for joining us. So Tom has lived here for about 29 years, and there is a story behind that sweater. Yes, indeed. Two months ago, Regis, my wife started to knit this sweater, and she said, when I'm finished with this, you can uh, wear it on the Millionaire Show. And I said, well, you can take your time, because I've been trying to get on that show for over a year, and I don't think it's uh, going to be any time soon. Last week, she finished this sweater, that same, the phone rang, and I'm, they were telling me, I thought it was a joke, you know, yeah. I thought, no, you're kidding. Somebody, my wife put somebody up to this, finish the sweater, <laughs> nope. It was I'm us. I'm the millionaire, so this is my lucky sweater, I wasn't going to take this off. It no. is a good lucky sweater, keep that sweater on, let's Thank see you. what happens with that sweater. You write books, right? You're a writer? That's right, my wife and I, my wife and I uh, write uh, children's books and uh, history and uh, young adult books, uh, different things. So. Terrific. All right, well, Tom, welcome to the show. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. We've been waiting for more than a year to get on. You're here, so let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, let's see if that sweater brings Tom some good luck. Here it is for $100. Which of these kitchen utensils would most likely need sharpening? A knife, spatula, ladle, sponge. Okay. Told us take our time, but it seems to me it's a knife. Final answer. Got it for a hundred dollars. Going for two hundred. A jealous person is often said to be green with what? Lust, sloth, envy, broccoli. <laughs> okay, it's the phrase is green with envy. Letter C, envy. Final answer. The sweater lives. Two hundred dollars. You got it. We're up to $300 now. A famous toasting song exclaims, For he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can, what? Forget, understand, deny, say ten times fast. <laughs> which nobody can deny, deny, final answer. Got that one too for $300. Tom's going for $500. In the TV series, Happy Days, what character's trademark gesture is a thumbs up? Ralph, Arnold, Patsy, Fonzie. Pretty sure this is Fonzie. Final answer. Yes, Fonzie, thumbs up, $500. You're going for a thousand, Tom. Which of the following cities is home to a sports stadium nicknamed The Ten? New York, Chicago, Atlanta, Seattle. Ted. Well, it isn't New York. 
Ted Turner owns the Atlanta ball team. Chicago has either the White Sox or the Cubs. Seattle Supersonics. No, no, they're the, well, at any rate, I think the Atlanta, Atlanta is the answer, final answer. The Ted is in Atlanta, you're right, $4,000. Right, you're going for two thousand dollars right now coined in the 1970s the term preppy is derived from what word preparatory prepackaged preposition prepossessing well it refers to people who were prep school types prep meaning preparatory and i'd say a is the final answer got it for two thousand dollars Up to $4,000. Which of these fruits does not grow on a tree? Raspberry, lime, pear, mango. When my daughter was young, we went to the country. We grew some raspberries which grow on bushes. Hard to grow. Raspberry, final answer. Got that one too for $4,000. Maybe there's something behind that sweater, huh? We're gonna find out. He's going for 8,000. In the 2001 movie, Joe Dirt, the title character has what distinctive hairstyle? Dreadlocks, pompadour, mullet, mohawk. It's not pompadour or dreadlocks. I think the kid's favorite today is the mullet final answer mullet. yes joe dirt wore a mullet <laughs> tom is seven away from a million here it is for sixteen thousand in the old testament who asks am i my brother's keeper abel joseph cain aaron This is Kane. Final answer. Got it for 16, though. He's on a roll. When we come back, he's going to go for $32,000. We'll see you Tom Hoopland in the hot seat right now from the west side of Manhattan, just lives a few blocks from here. He's an author. And a uh, Notre Dame graduate. Incidentally, we have in our audience a lot of uh, students from St. Mary's College no, we don't. just huh? across the river. Yeah. So this is uh, all boding well for you in that lucky sweater. Yeah, maybe that's it, yeah. Tell me about being an author. You acquire a lot of knowledge, don't you? Yes, because uh, we've written on many different topics. You know, we've written for, we've done a lot of history, but uh, that covers such a wide, mm -hmm. wide range and so forth. In all, we've uh, published about 80 books. That's a lot of books, Tom. A lot of books, yeah. yeah. Nobody, we're not getting paid like Stephen King, so we have to uh, <laughs> keep write more books than he does. Right, keep them coming. Well, you're doing fine right now. Now, you've still got your three lifelines. You're six questions away from a million dollars. We're going for $32,000. Let's play. <laughs> 